I looked at a lot of others and I noticed a lot of them have, they have these intros, you know, with the super awesome music and I really feel like I'm letting you guys down. So I'm gonna give it a whirl here. Let's, uh, let's go for the awesome. I don't know. What do you think? Did that did that get you? Did that get you more into the video? Did that make the video better? I got to be honest. It really didn't do anything for me, other than take a whole lot of time. And and I just that's just not me. Not my style. Um, I think I'm just gonna go with Kiss like I always have. Welcome back to Beyond Seclusion. I was talking to a buddy of mine the other day. We were talking about some of the videos and guns and stuff that I'd reviewed. Some upcoming things that I was really excited about. And we got talking about uh, the Taurus revolver that I did. Um, my buddy's just a uh, diehard revolver. Loves revolvers. Anyway, in the conversation, he said, you know, you got one of those Ruger 357s, don't you? I said, well, yeah, I got one. He goes, well, have you reviewed that? I said, no, I haven't. He goes, Dude, you need to review that. He goes, I have that in my pocket every day with me. It's an awesome firearm. It's my favorite firearm. You need to review it. So here you go. This is the Ruger LCR. This is the 357 mag. And the reason that I really like it is because you get to shoot 38 or 357. Now this thing is crazy small. It's about as small as you could possibly get, I think, for a 357 or a 38. Both of these are gonna be more than adequate for self-defense. 357, that's just kind of a no-brainer. 38, you're gonna get some people, so 38 plus P, absolutely. No issues there. You look at it ballistically, it's got some punch. The nice thing is, you know, 357, if I wanna carry the 357, I can sit here and practice and plink with the 38. Now I've actually had this for years. This is one of my concealed carry, okay? It's a five shot here. It's got an internal hammer. And I put some of my paint. You can find that online. I know it's very strange to, it's, it's not loaded to point a gun at myself. I put a little green dot there. You can find, you know, all kinds of places, Natchez, um, Cabela's, places like that. It really helps with the sight picture and quick target acquisition. I'll show you when I do some single hand. Um, you know, no hammer, nothing really to catch on the pockets other than the front sight. Guys, if you watch my videos, I like Kiss. This is about as Kiss as you get, and it's about as small and light as you get. Now, I know a lot of you or die-hard revolver, like my buddy Jim. I'm sorry, I'm not. They are reliable, I'll give you that. But five shots, I just don't like the five shots. I don't find them as accurate when you're doing the double stage, okay? Anyway, we are actually probably about 20 feet here easily. I've gotta be close to 10 yards, that's about 30 feet which far exceeds the, the typical encounter distance. The reason I'm standing back here is it's just not any fun for me to stand five feet from it. Plus I don't like standing that close to steel. My point being, if I can put all these on target quickly here at 27 feet, I think that answers the accuracy issue at typical distances. So let's just see what we can do here. 
I missed a couple. Let's try a little closer. Yeah, I'm not gonna go closer. I'm just gonna focus more here. Much better. 27 feet, guys, with a, what is it? One and a half inch barrel, two inch barrel. I have C, R S and see I couldn't even remember what that is can't remember stuff CRS syndrome some of you may have this as well so I don't remember if this is a two inch barrel it's short okay. I know you want to see you want to see what I'm seeing so let's see if we can make that happen right, let's put this this little Ruger to the test. We're probably uh, 25, 30 yards back with, uh, you know, pretty minimal sights here. Let's see if we can hit the target. And again, that'll answer any accuracy questions. At least it does for me. I think that works. Sorry guys, the wind's picking up, um, but we're expecting some really nasty freezing weather here next week. So what I'm gonna do now, try to get some of this blurred out, is I'm putting in the 38, and we're gonna do sort of a slow-mo. And so you can see the recoil, I'll do the 38, I'll do the 38 plus P, and then I'll put in the 357. So I just wanna step it back to uh, at least 30 yards here. Let's go back even further. I want to give this a I want to give this a good test. How far how far can we push this? Missed the first one, let's try plus P. I got some nice Remington self-defense rounds here, uh, semi-jacketed, hollow point. I didn't do so good with that. Let's try that again. So you might have caught in some of my videos, I've been talking about getting some sort of sponsor for ammo. Um, I actually, I think this is kind of humorous. I have two rounds. <laughs> of 357 left um sorry about that didn't uh, plan i thought the the box was fuller but you know really all we want to do is just see what kind of recoil we get here i think we've gotten all the other info that we want and guys that's got some recoil with the 357 Um, you're definitely, at least I'm not, gonna get off rapid shots. For me, I don't think I'd want to carry in the 357. The recoil's enough that it, you could see in the jump here. Yeah, that's taking me way off target. I'd rather have the 38 with a good uh, bonded hollow point or a 38 plus P and be able to get them on target a lot faster. Checking out other channels though, I did notice that a lot of people always make this big statement, Ruger did not send this to me, Ruger is not paying me for this, 
yeah, no, I bought this like four years ago for my own personal carry. Has Ruger sent me guns? Yes, they have. Are they paying me? No. Do I wish they would? Yeah, I wish they would. I wish Ruger, SIG, Caltech, Vortex, I wish they'd all pay me. But the reality is, is no, none of them are paying me. The only money that I get is through uh, basically going on my Amazon store and purchasing stuff on Amazon through my link and I get a commission. And then same with some of my affiliate programs, PSA, um, Cabela's, which nobody ever uses that one, Gun Mag Warehouse, I get some, some commissions through there. And here's the deal, guys. It doesn't change the cost to you. It does absolutely nothing to you. It just gives me uh, the ability to make commission and it's incentive then for companies like Ruger, PSA, SIG to send myself and others the products to review because then if we like them and we provide the links and then you go through them, that's the whole idea behind an affiliate program. Now with that said, I don't give anything but honest reviews. I know, you know, some people have said, eh, I don't know. No. Uh, talk to anybody that knows me. The whole reason I started this YouTube channel was to communicate my thoughts, my advice, my recommendations to friends and family. And the last thing I'm going to do is steer any of those people wrong. My community, if I back a product that I think sucks and a bunch of my friends and family go and get it, that's just bad business. So, you know, when Ruger or any of these other companies do send me a product and I don't like it, I do give them the option of saying, hey, this is what I found. Sometimes I'll give them a first glance and of every once in a while, they'll be like, yeah, I, I would opt to not have you post that. Out of respect for them sending me the products, if it's a negative, harsh review, I don't post it. I bought this. So when I buy it, it's fair game, okay? I'm gonna post it no matter what. So anyway, bottom line on this, I like it. I have liked it. I've had great luck with it for years. If you're into revolvers, you want a backup, you want small, lightweight, you want the ability to do a 38, 38 plus P or 357, I don't think you can go wrong with this. I think for the cost, it's gonna be hard to beat it. Um, so anyway, I hope you found that helpful. Be sure to like, comment, sub. I'm not making one cent off of YouTube. YouTube refuses to pay me even though I have exceeded the minimum requirements well over a year ago. So again, the only way that I get paid is using things like my Amazon store, purchasing and helping me get the word out for my online courses. Okay, they're awesome courses, 30 day money back guarantee. Everybody knows somebody in school that is struggling and could use some help studying. You know, $13.99, whatever the current cost is, guaranteed, is going to help them. Those are the things that help support me and keep the videos coming. Till next time, thanks for watching. Happy shooting, be safe, and remember, gun control starts with knowledge. It starts with education. You me working and educating those around us not creating conflict and hostility it does us no good to call the other side libtards communists um, i got friends i got families that are not in favor of guns and i don't call them those names i educate them i say okay you know what here's the truth here's the stats